What's up YouTube? It's July 7th and it's time to take a walk through the garden. Well, let me flip this thing around. We're going to take a little stroll. Now, the only thing I've been doing lately is watering and weeding. It's been dry. It hasn't rained for a while up here. The ground is really, really dry. Let's take a look at the grass. You can see the grass browning out. But, uh... That's all right. I don't have to cut it so often. Let it brown up. Anyway, I've been watering my plants around here because I don't want them to die. So let's go take a look at the vegetable garden. Maybe one day I'll take a walk through here and tell you a little bit about the landscaping. All right, let's start off with the corn. <clears throat> the corn is doing really good. As long as I keep watering it, it keeps growing. You can see it's about five foot high, almost six foot, some of them are almost six foot high. I was in there watering it about up my shoulder, a little over my shoulder. But they're doing really well. I just got finished watering them. I'm supposed to get maybe 40% chance of rain today, but I'm not counting on that. Well, anyway, here's the corn. This is the Wade's Giant doing very well all the way down I'll be selling the stalks probably selling some of the corn when I dry it and I'll be using some of the most of the corn for feed for my chickens and we got the dried Vermont cranberry beans also doing pretty good should get a bunch of those my lima beans and my string beans didn't a lot of them didn't germinate the second row over Oh, so you can see that stick right there. There's supposed to be another row going down. It's like sparse one here and there A lot of them didn't germinate Or unless something got in there and dug them up and stole them. I don't know But anyway, and we're starting to get some pumpkins. There's one there growing There's another little guy over there. That might be a squash. I did some pumpkins and some squash in here I did see a white pumpkin in here when I was watering earlier Somewhere up yep, there it is. Yeah, let's see, I gotta zoom in on it. Oh, you can see it. Where is it? Is it right in there? Uh, I don't know. You guys can pick it up. It's in there somewhere. It's small. It's about as big as a baseball. Come on, Petey. Oh, let's take a walk inside. I just ate me a handful of raspberries. All the raspberries are coming in now. Blackberries are turning a little bit. But the raspberries are really good. I just ate a couple of them. They were nice and ripe. A little tug, they come right off. And here's my berries. Blackberries. There's the black. There's another blackberry. See, they're just starting to turn. Here's one. Did you hear that, chipmunk? The chipmunk's been in here stealing my raspberries. I'm going to have to catch that son of a gun. Here's the blackberries. See, some of them starting to turn. Blueberries. There's a bunch of them on here. Yeah, they're ready to go. Mm -mm, that was so good. I just ate some of these raspberries. Not a blueberry, not a raspberry. There's some uh, transplants that I've been pulling out of this pot. You know, the side shoots, you get some shoots, I tug them out, try and get some root with them. And start another pot. You know, they're a little wilty, but they'll they'll pick back up. Just gotta keep them moist. So that's it for the berries. And I got a bunch of peppers coming along. This is the uh, banana peppers. There's these first five, six plants here, banana peppers, and there's some other different kinds, bells and some hot peppers, stuff like that. Grapes are coming along. We got some grapes. We'll be making some jelly. Robin will be making some jelly when she gets back from Kentucky. she got a lot of things to do when she gets back from Kentucky. <laughs> a lot of things to get canned up. Here's my tomatoes. This is a sunchoke. Jerusalem artichoke, some people call them. They're doing really good. These are my tomatoes, which they were supposed to be Jersey Giant. 
Now Jersey Giant is a plum tomato. But I have been looking at some of these tomatoes that have been coming along. Let's see if I can find one. Yeah, let's see. I see right there. That doesn't look like a plum tomato to me. So I think Johnny Seeds, oh, uh, not Johnny Seeds, Baker Creek goofed up and put the wrong seeds in a pack, I think. I'm pretty sure that doesn't look like a paste tomato to me, so. I'm going to have to write them a letter if that's the case. I mean, I was planning on canning my uh, paste tomatoes. And I, don't, I don't even know what type of tomato this is. So, I don't know. We'll find out. I'll figure it out. I mean, I might not figure out what kind of tomato it is, but I'm going to complain to them if that's the case. You can see here's a couple more coming along. They're round. They're not oval. Well, I don't think that's paste tomato. And, uh, that's what I was counting on getting, so, I don't know. We'll see. Well, anyway, here's my cabbage is coming along. Cabbage is doing really good. I've been watching for these little caterpillars. I've seen some of the shit somewhere on one of these. So there's a few of them around. I'm going to have to take care of them. Down the end, got Brussels sprouts. Some more peppers. Collard greens ready for picking. I'm going to wait until Robin comes up and she can make some of that. I like collard greens. Escarole. And Swiss chard in this box. The escarole is the first one right here. That's, I already cut this down to ground. It's coming back up again, so I'll get another one out of that. And Swiss chard is about ready to go too. Swiss chard is really, really good. I love that. A couple more tomatoes. I got some beets in here with the peas. A couple more peppers I stuck in these pots and these blocks. Onions. I'll be picking some onions soon. You can see right there. They're getting pretty big. Almost baseball size. Got a bunch of cucumber. This is the Japanese variety. The slender long ones. Oh, that one just fell off. So we'll be eating that one. There's another one. It's ready to go. This is the first time I grew I grown this variety. So I'll try it out. I got another variety too, a pickling variety over there on the other side. And I got more onions. Onions are ready to start coming out. Garlic I'll be pulling up another week, two weeks. And what else? Potatoes, potatoes are doing really well. Picking off a few beetles here and there, some potato beetles, not many. Just keeping my eye open on them and, you know, just picking them off as I go along. Throw them over the fence to the chickens, they love it. A couple more zucchinis and squash, these are late. I planted these late to try and, uh, so I don't get them all at once. Because my other zucchinis on the other side, I already picked a couple zucchinis. And I'll show you, there's a few more over here that are ready to, almost ready to pick. Greenhouse. Greenhouse is, you know, they got the eggplants, they're coming along. I got one gagoots over here that's running wild. This is the gagoots. I got one gagoots in the greenhouse. You see it running down there. And I also got a couple outside. Couple more tomatoes, peppers. Robin gotta get back here. There's a can in the do. <laughs> got more garlic. A lot of this garlic I got sold. About 200 bulbs. This uh, is the pickling variety. That's getting a little big, but I don't know how to pickle, so I gotta wait until she comes back. I picked a few anyway, I'm going to throw them in a salad. You got more onions back there. Zucchinis. Let's see, i seen a nice sized one right there. This is the Italian variety. It's got the stripes on it. That's about ready to go. There's a bunch more in there. They're all coming along in there. And on this side we got the squash patches running wild. You got one right there is ready to go. 
there's a whole bunch of different varieties in here. I just, I just let them run wild, and then I'll search through the patch and pick them as I as I find them. They're under there. It's got watermelons. I got little baby watermelons coming. This is the sugar baby. This this maturity on these are only like 65 days. About the only ones I can grow up here. And you can see little guys there. That one there with the stripes on, that's a Greek sweet squash. Really good heirloom squash. And here's another good goose I got outside. Trying to train it up this trellis and make it go across. They, these things grow fast. I would say a foot a week, easily, easily. That's how fast these plants grow. So, we'll see if I can get it to go across there. And maybe we can get the fruit that will be dangling from underneath the trellis. We'll see. There's a little pumpkin right there. Right? They're under there. All right, YouTube. I'm going to get back to I'm gonna do a little weeding. I got a little more watering to do. And uh, there's always something to do. Oh, you hear that? Thunder. Let it rain, because we need rain. Alright, YouTube. Take it easy. Till next time.